in the old days, when you would do a denial of service attack, one of the ways to do it was a volumetric attack. You would just overload somebody with traffic. So if somebody was on a 64K ISDN line, all you had to do was send them 64K of traffic per second, and that would fill the line up and they were out of business, right? But in today's modern world of fiber interchanges and 40 gig networks and all that, it's really hard to generate that volume of traffic to overwhelm somebody. So what attackers have to do is get creative and find ways where they can send a small amount of traffic and somehow turn it into a big amount of traffic. And there is a vulnerability in the remote desktop protocol, RDP, where attackers can send it data and they don't, they don't have to log in. They don't have to gain access to the screen or anything. They just send BS data at it. And for every one byte they send, it generates 85.9 bytes in return. So it's like an 85 to one ratio on the data. And if they spoof their source address, so if they spoof the source address to be your address, Peter, then they're going to send one byte of traffic to this server, and that server is then going to send 85 bytes of traffic to you. And if they do that on enough machines, now they can overwhelm you and bring you offline. So uh, attacks like this are, are hard to pull off because usually people detect the traffic and stop it. But in this case, people are not patching at a very rapid rate, and so they've seen attacks ranging from 20 gigabits all the way up to 750 gigabits per second of traffic being generated with RDP reflection. Wow, that's a lot of traffic, Don. You know, it's the uh, the denial service doesn't really get enough enough um, airtime nowadays. You know, we we think of the sexy data breaches. Oh man, this company was breached, X company was breached, this much user data was exposed mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But man, dropping some site to its knees depending on the site yeah. can really cause some havoc out there and cost a lot of money. Yeah, it's really interesting stuff. Remember uh, the hacking group Anonymous? Oh yeah. And in the early that days- That was their claim to fame. They had that utility, the low orbit ion cannon. Uh, it was just a little and Windows the high utility. Orbit ion cannon. Oh, it was a high. They had both. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Because one started like it wasn't as good, so they were like, "We're gonna make this robust." It wasn't hip and they enough. Came out with the next iteration. But it was a little program you could load on your computer and join the anonymous network, and then when they would pick a target, everybody running the software would just hit that target at once, and, and then you would get a call from the FBI. Yeah, <laughs> which and, did happen, by the way. <laughs> and the theory was, if enough people did it, they couldn't get us all. Whatever. Yeah, they just went after who they could get, yep. and they did. So uh, so that kind of stuff, that worked back then, but now people have so much bandwidth. Systems can auto-scale, like if you're in the cloud, and so it's really hard to bring somebody to their knees, but if you can do a magnific or amplification attack, uh, you, you can pull it off. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.